Hello friends, today I am going to solve again another exchange problem. In this problem, if you will see, we have given one set of value, right, in array, and we have to replace the element of this array. If you will see, they have given one function, right, next a smaller number, and we have to implement this function, right. They said that the function is set an integer array, a, of size m, replace each number of array with nearest smallest number on its right in the array if you will see that they mention nearest smallest it means that first smallest after that number number right on its right side of the array right and it should be right side of that particular given element right so let's uh, say what they all said that they said uh, return null if array is null right uh, null refers to none in case of python so if you are working with python and you have writing code for python so then you need to worry about it and you have to return Null in case of that empty array, right? And they also mentioned that replace the number with minus one. They here they said that replace the number with nearest smallest number, right? And here they said they replace the number with minus one if no smaller number is present on its right side. It means that if suppose we are going to compare any element, right? So we are going to suppose compare checking this six, right? And if we didn't find any smallest number right side of this six, then we will replace this six by minus one. Right, this is the example so let's uh, explain this one right this problem you will see we have given this array right and we have to pass this array to that function and that function will return new array as the output they have given right so how they generate this types of a result right? so let's explain so you can see that this is our array right this is our array and we have to send this array to that function that function will return new array so how that function will return new array so let's explain so suppose this is our three is the our first element and we have to work with this three right so what we will do we will start checking after this three right and after this three we have this too much element right from this one we will start checking from just after three and we will check if this element will be less than this three just we will replace this element with right we will replace this element with this two so suppose if we will replace this uh, we will find this two right just after this three so we have to replace this three with right two so our new array will be like this right this will be our new array so we have done with this first element now next time we have to work with this two right so suppose we are working with this two and we have to check first smallest number after two so when we will check after two they have 11 right 11 is greatest value than two if we again if we didn't find a smaller value we will again check right another element we will check this seven seven is also a smallest greatest element than two we didn't take this one and when we will checking this all element we find one and in last and this one is the first smallest element after two so we will replace this two by one so our next array will be like this right when we will replace this one so our next array will be this so next time we will start checking after this element so we will check a start uh, we will start checking from right this 11 right this 11 so if we will talking about this 11 we will find first smallest number after this 11 so when we will start checking from here in first position we will check here say one is the first smallest number after 11 so we will replace this 11 by we replace this 11 by 7 right so just copy and make new array so this new array will be like this one right so this 11 will be replaced by 7 right next time we have to check this 7 right because we have processed this third element so we don't need to check this one and we will check with this 7 right and we will check this after right we will check this 7 and we have to find first smallest after this 6 7 so we will find this 6 is the first smallest after 7 so what we will do we will replace this 7 by 6 so our next array will be like this right so we will replace this 7 by 6 and remember whenever we will find first a smallest element we don't need to check further we are not going to check after getting 6 is the first element after 7 we are not going to check with 5 6 1 right so in this case when we will do programming we will use break keyword so that we don't need to check further right so we will repeat the same process so if we will work with this 6 we find this 5 is the first smallest element after 6 so we will replace this 6 by 5 so when we will copy this right element uh, just we have uh, i am explaining here that's why i am uh, using uh, each and every time copy the same element because in programming we don't need to use this one just uh, i am explaining you so this six will be replaced by five 
right next time we will check this five and we have to find first smallest after this five so six is the highest element then five then we will if we will not find a smallest element then we will go after this element so after this six we will get six one and one is the first smallest after five so we will replace this five by one right if you will see so we will replace this five by one no sorry uh, yes this five by one next time we have to check this six right so we will next time here we will check this six after six this first is the one is the first smallest element so we will replace this six by one right just copy paste here and we will replace this six by one and in you you see that we have come with, with last element so we know that after this one they have no any element right if you will see in question they have mentioned right replace the number with minus one if no a smaller number is present on the right its right side so here you can see that after this one the right side there is no any element right so we didn't find any small smallest value after this one so we will replace this one by minus one right so our final element because when we are working with this last element so this will be our final element uh, final area and it will be like minus one so we have to return this array right we have to return this array to that quality function so let's program for this so in case you have see that we have two scenario like suppose first what we will do we will check whenever we will get any smallest value after this uh, our particular which element we are going to check we will replace and we will use break first scenario another scenario is that when we don't find any smallest value right after that particular element we will replace that element by minus one right so let's program for this so you can see that this is our new a smallest number function and we have to implement this function right and this function will return a integer array right that's why we have written here int right and this function is taking two argument right first argument is array and another argument is and size of that array so let's first program so first if you will see we have what we have done we have like traverse start from last so first we need to use one loop right so for we will use int i equals 0 i is less than n because n is the size of our array and i will be i plus plus next time if you will see after running this program what we have to do you can see that here we are picking this first element right and we are checking this first element with this all element so for checking this for all element we need one inner loop so let's write this inner loop so we will check int j equals 0 so we don't need to write j equals 0 because we know that we have to check after this element right so we will use j equals this i index plus 1 right so we will use j equals i plus 1 and j will be j is less than and right and j plus plus right now we have to check right if our area of i is greater than area of j right here we are checking that if suppose this element our checked element is greater than like next element mm -hmm. right right side of element then what we will do we will replace this element by this new element uh, next element so here we will do if it will happen what we will do we will just replace so our area of i will be area of j right and here you can see that after checking we don't need to check further right so that we will use break here so here we will use break statement and uh, just say that's all right so it will run until we will get a smallest element whenever it will get a smallest element it will replace that element with the checked element right this is array of i and what we will do it will use break so if you will see we have one scenario also like suppose we didn't find any smallest value after this particular element therefore suppose we are checking with this element and we didn't find any smallest element after this after this right side of this element so what we have to do then in this case we have to replace this 11 by minus one so here let's check so how we will check we have how we will check that we have to tra we have traverse till last element so we check using this one right using this j if our j will be last right suppose we are checking right suppose this three and we have to check each and every element right suppose we have check with this element this element this element till last all element right and suppose we didn't find any smallest element after this right three so in this case what we will have will happen our j value will be like after this element so our j will be like last element of more than last element of index of this array so in this case we will check 
right after this inner loop we will check if our j is uh, equals to n right if our j equals n it means that when our j will reach at last position right when our j is read at last last position it means that we didn't find any smallest value so in this case we have to replace that element we have to replace this that uh, first element with minus one right so uh, here it is uh, giving error when we are using j because here we have created j inside this inner loop right and that's why it is giving error because when we are going to access this j outside this loop it will not be accessed because a scope of this j is only inside this for loop so we have to create this j before this loop so we will create here right int j right so after uh, creating j outside this loop you can see that they didn't give any error right here so next what we have to do if you will see we have one scenario also right suppose this is our last element so in this scenario we don't need to check further right after there is no any suppose here we are working with the last element so we don't need to check uh, after this element so in this case we will write simply write one uh, condition like if suppose our i is equals right j if suppose our i will be n it means that n minus 1 right because this n is the last index uh, n is the side so we have to find last index right so if suppose our i equals n minus 1 in this case we don't need to check further we will just make if i equals minus 1 right and else case we will run this all condition right so else case we have to run this all so here we will put right so this is our program when this our first outer when this outer loop will end it means that our array is changed right our each and every element of that array is changed so we have to return after this we have to return our array so we will use return a double r so after this this will return array right and if you will see after getting array here in this uh, when it will re this function will return array right here this function will return array what we have done we have created a new array with the name of result a double r and we are putting the new array uh, uh, returned array inside this array and here using loop we have printed the value of right returned array so let's run this program Here. when we are running this program you can see that this is generating the output like you can match this output with questions right so you can see that in question they have also mentioned the same output 21765 dual 1 minus 1 right so you can see that 21765 dual 1 minus 1 and in explanation we are also getting same result like 21765 dual 1 so this is our program uh, this is question asked by Accenture uh, yes today right so today is the 14th October so thank you so much for being here if you like this video please share and subscribe thank you so much